Bridges are a staple in Lancaster County, but one that is a mid-state landmark is out of commission right now. A big rig tried and failed to squeeze through it. Evan Popalis explains what happens next. Lancaster County's oldest covered bridge still in use is temporarily out of service after it was hit by a tractor trailer. Now state and county officials need to figure out how to get Bitzer's Mill Bridge back up and running. He said he did not see the signs. Leading to this. Upon our arrival, we found that a 2020 Freightliner tractor trailer had attempted to traverse the bridge and had gotten stuck. The truck was over 13 feet high and the bridge clearance is just 10 and a half feet. He attempted to back out, which and when he backed out actually caused a little bit more damage to the to the bridge. The fire department was able to pry up some, some of the wooden trusses. Some local farmers came out and used some bailing wire to hold them up so the vehicle could back out off the bridge. Right now we're assessing the damage and, and, and coming, trying to come up with a, a repair plan. Which could be tough because of how covered bridges are built. The damage is, is, is to uh, timber uh, braces. So I, I think that's kind of a, a unique. You know, a lot of times our, our issues have been with steel and, and, and concrete. PennDOT says repairs could take months. They'll know more after inspections. Potential charges for the mishap could come much sooner. Weight limit, you can see the weight limit's 20 tons on the bridge and his truck was uh, approximately 40, rated for 40 tons. So we definitely have a weight limit issue as well as a height. Cat's Back Road isn't a major road in this area, but PennDOT says about a thousand vehicles per day travel through the Bitzer's Mill Bridge, but they're all going to have to find a different way to get around for a while. In West Earl Township, Evan Bapalis, ABC 27 News.